In 1975, Cambodia's Communist Party, known as the Khmer Rouge, gained control over the country. Through genocide and dangerous ideology, they destroyed many basic family values. Citizens were forced into slave labor, and by the end of their reign in 1979, over 2 million had been killed. Because of this, over 50% of Cambodians are below the age of 25. In a country mostly composed of young adults, parents are selling their children to pay off debt and support the rest of their families. The average person in Cambodia makes a yearly salary of about $290. The annual income for rural Cambodians is only $135. My name, I'm Somali mom, but I don't know exactly is my real name or no. I don't know, I don't know who I am. I don't know my age. I don't know, I don't know exactly. But I keep Somali because I have a lot of name, but I keep that because my my father adoptive, he gave me this name. Somali means like the necklace of the flower disappear in the forest. It's like my story, so I just keep Somali because I, I, I like this name. Somali Mam was born into a tribal minority in Mondakuri, Cambodia. Living a life of extreme despair and poverty, her parents often resorted to desperate means to survive. This led to her being sold into sexual slavery at an extremely young age. For many years, she was forced to work in a brothel alongside other women and children. She finally made her escape after witnessing the brutal murder of her best friend. Like one girl here, she had been sold when she was five years old. When I saw her, all the blue, they hit her, they put her in the animal cage. In 2007, Somali founded the Somali Mam Foundation a non-profit organization which is dedicated to supporting victim services. So, you know, I think that my life is a good experience for me to have the people. I'm, if I don't have my life, I cannot have the people. In the year 2013, they distributed 648,292 condoms and 10,136 bars of soap to women and girls in the sex trade to aid in disease prevention and hygiene. They run a free medical clinic in Phenom Feds Red Light District, which 1,220 people visit for their psychological counseling, treatment, and support. 36 women have been given starter-up kits to help them start their own business. The 180 residents reintegrated into their communities. All of these women have received one follow-up session to ensure success and track their progress.